So hi, this is Peter uh, Vader. So you're watching Whiskey Soda TV. Stay with us. Now, Peter, thanks for taking the time to do this interview with us. And uh, your new album, Necropolis, is out now. It's really good. That's my opinion, but I really like it. Um, since uh, you have assembled a new team for Vader, you had to uh, because three guys left in 2008. Uh, I read that you pretty much worked on that album alone, uh, except for the drums. But when it comes to guitars and all that, it's pretty much uh, your work. Uh, was that any different? Did it feel different from working on previous albums with a whole team involved? Actually, not at all. So usually, this is this is a way we work in the studio. So I'm kind of leader, and so I'm responsible uh, responsible for like recordings, like um, main work in the studio since the first album. So. Just the first album and the mini album Salt is the work was a bit different because we had like a lot of time to work with the songs before we entered the studio. I've uh, been practicing with them, you know, so that's a few years like before. But uh, after, we, after we started to play so much, to tour a lot, so we never had like enough time to spend uh, with the songs before entering the studio. From the other side, I've been more experienced uh, as a composer, as a musician, as a man. So we never needed a little so much time like to work out with all the songs before. This is this is music, though. Should be more spontaneous, uh, also in the studio. So uh, you know, this is the music. So you know how it works. So even if you if you would spend a year with this new song so it's not us who's gonna say it's good, it's good or not so so sometimes the songs need just five minutes yeah to be a good one and from the others from from for, for other songs you can work like a year and it's not as good as you think it is so this is just music you know it's everything it's, it's emotions so Maybe it's a bit of talent, so I just, I just, I, I just never needed so much time. Like I need just a few hours, but alone in a studio, just to focus on the music, on the work, to just to be alone <laughs> without any uh, problems around, without any like uh, disturbing. That's how it works since the beginning. Has there been a moment in 2008 uh, when you? Felt kind of resignation when three of the members left. I never felt like that because if I would, probably I'd stop Vader. But you know, this is uh, more than just a band for me. So for after so many years of playing and composing, this is this is a life, you know. So um, this is more than just a job, also. So this uh, all I do. So. So when I started the band, it was just a dream, like to have a situation like this, because you know to be to play death metal, to to do this music, and uh, to have it as a job. You no, know, that that was like more than I expected, you know, ever in my life. So after the time came, and so we became a professional musicians, and we put all the attention in the music only. So then we became like a professional. So this like. This is the best can happen, you know, for a musician because you don't need to think about anything uh, other like important thing in your life, like you know, food, everything. This is just all you do. So all my powers now I can spend been practicing, been recording, like on tour. You know, 90% percent of all time is uh, playing shows, and this is metal, you know, and, and nothing is gonna change in the future, uh, neither. So. Uh, this is life chosen by me, and uh, about the others. This is this is always the problem with choosing a new persons for Vader because 
Uh, we have like many talented musicians around in the world, just in Poland, of course. And uh, but it's really hard to find out a musician who can spend his life, you know, on tour uh, far from families, far from like friends, and uh, it's not not as easy to find such a person in our own. So. Uh, there's not just the music ability so important to join Vader. So all things like loyalty, like time for playing, like you know, sacrificing himself, yourself enough you know, for that. This is way more important for a band. So. Because with the people who who is motivated, who like dedicated to the music like this, you can do way more than with people who like play like maybe a little bit faster, but you just they can't stay for longer. <laughs> and uh you know, the music metal now is kind of religion, of course, uh, for many people. That's that's why it's not so big problem to find out the good musicians. That's, you know, what I just say, said before, the sacrifice, the dedicated people. That's that's always a way more big problem in, <laughs> in, in finding out persons and new, new people for a band. Okay. The new album, Necropolis, is especially compared to Impressions in Blood of 2006, uh, I would say more stripped down, more straightforward in its sound. Um, what are the, your thoughts and feelings behind that? Why does it sound the way it sounds? You know, I, I like the sound of Necropolis a lot. You know, I think uh, to Madsen uh, in Anfam Studio, he made the greatest job, you know, because this is how, how the album sounds is his job indeed. And uh, that's his view of a sound, and this is how the producers work. And uh, this is probably the first time for the full-length album, so we were working with the producers with this kind of risk for composers to give all you recorded to somebody else who decide about the final result, you know. But this is, this is how it is, you know. This is, this is why we, call, we have a good or bad producers, you know, and that. And I always, because this is the first time, but in the future, for sure, I'm going to work with, uh, with, the, with the producers because this is something new, like refreshing everything. Because like, for after so many years I've been recording in a different, even in different studios, so you still get like your way. If you give a chance to uh, see your work, the recorded tracks for somebody else, you're refreshing everything. This time for Necropolis, it's, it's just very good. It was a very good idea. Because now it's still Vader, but sounds like, like thicker. Like I don't know how to, it's not. As I said before, this is not us, not me, being a composer who decide about good or not. It's still fans, you know. They, they will buy it or not, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm so happy that this new Vader, being still Vader, uh, it's so much accepted by fans because this is all for, for this kind of people. You know? <laughs> You are a musician with a lot of experience by now, uh, with a lot of recording experience. You had a chance to look at how producers work. I don't know, in like 15, 20 years, maybe when your body will tell you that uh, being on tour the whole year doesn't work out anymore, is would producing be something you're interested in? You know, this uh, this was kind of experiment in my life. Of course, no, this is still music, you know, this is like... but. Uh, with Decapitated, that was more like a help for a young, talented band uh, for the first entry to the studio. And uh, this is also, we never had such such a chance, you know, for the first time uh, we were recording albums, been already almost 10 years now, uh, a band, you know. Uh, and nobody even tried like to help us, because we 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 entered the studio first time in Stockholm uh, that was just attempt it failed because we had a problem with the sound after the doc had to play on this uh, the, the trigger drums there was no real drums so fi finally we and the, the company the Eric Records decided to remake it in England again with the live real drums and, and we made it and so the result was way better of course and uh, Nobody sat and or tried to help us. Of course, like uh, the engineers, the, the those who were recording the album, they tried to help, which is, you know, for us. But 
for the capital. I just tried to uh, show on the first album the best sides of the bands at that time, you know. So I think I succeeded because uh, all was not so much perfect on the first album. I mean, the drums was like the weakest point, became the strongest point already on the next album. So uh, what I tried to explain them, actually Vitek uh, was the guy who was working the strongest in the band and he progressed the much, like the, the biggest, he made the biggest progress in the band. So that was different drummer in the two years, you know. So you can see, you can hear it in the albums, you know. So I think if if I could help them first for the first album and show them kind of a way for the future, like and help, that's all I could do because the rest is all the talents, you know. So it makes me happy <laughs> because the first album is like a first album. It sounded good, but they 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 started the way in the music. I mean, decapitated. I think since the next album already. So, as I said, I try to help and I think I did my job good. <laughs> but, you know, it's really hard for being a producer, like, you know, it's like, this is more, I'm, I'm like, I'm a metal fan, you know, so it's always like uh, better to to see the whole sound for, for, for somebody who uh, likes, who loves metal than for somebody who is just kind of something new, you know. I think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of Decapitated, I read that uh, the guys decided to continue with the band. Uh, do you know anything? I think you're friends with them, uh, or at least uh, you, you know them. Uh, uh, do you know the current status of Decapitated? I think you need to talk to, to, to Vogue uh, just to know more about the details. But, uh, you know, this band uh, had always my support and will always have my support because this is one of those few guys from Poland, from Europe, you know, who created something more than just good music, something more interesting, more fresh, you know, for, for metal. Metal still needs something like refreshing in general, and they did it. Unfortunately, this accident where when uh, the, the drummer Vitek died shouldn't stop it you know and uh, I'm so happy that uh, Fogg uh, decided to, to continue good work and probably he needed just like a little bit more time to, to collect the people and just to start a new one of course even if the price is just uh, I'm sure that probably n next year he's gonna start something probably I will need the, like a new, new guy for guitars but you know this is still my opinion that they should to continue to work because this is one of the best band from from Europe and I'm happy to see them and I can find like new new guitars for sure with a new replacement <laughs> um, there have been issues with some very conservative politics in Poland uh, um, <laughs> yeah uh, trying to uh, ha have a, a boycott on bands like Behemoth like Vader like other bands who allegedly uh, um, promote Satanism and stuff. And and then on the other hand, you know, I was following the, the Polish album charts lately with the, the new Behemoth record coming out and then the Vader record coming out. And you made it to the top 10 in your home country again. And Behemoth were actually the number one, the best-selling album in Poland for three weeks in a row, which is unprecedented for, for any re extreme metal band in, in any country. And uh, I was like, you know, um, on the one hand, you have this conservative politics. On the other hand, there seem to be a lot of people interested in the music and actually buying it. So does it uh, satisfy you? You know, it's, I don't think something going to change just because, like, it's, it's nothing changed in Poland. And even if uh, the behemoth Vader or, like, metal started to be now so much popular, it's not because the people started to like metal, like... Uh, the metal became more popular because some problems and some like uh, uh, loud spoken stories, you know, all this uh, uh, the Kurt Nurgle against the Novak, the Mr. Mr. Novak, who is like a main problem for a metal bands in Poland, who start who started to see uh, the, the metal as a problem for young people, you know, and uh, because Nurgle was dating uh, the girl which is like so much popular like it's like like 
kind of like I don't know the pink pink baby in a, in, a, in a business in Poland. You know, oh. maybe maybe you don't know much about this girl, but she's like almost everywhere in the TV and you know and this kind of uh, the paparazzi shit. You know, like somebody found like him with her, and it created the big rumor. You know, in the metal scene and uh, in the scene been never close to metal. So actually, this story is like pushed a metal uh, on the top a bit. But of course it's good because like it gives chance for some people who never try to touch um, heavy metal in general. They just try to see what the hell is that, you know. And uh, it's not bad, but I don't think it, it will change the situation, bad situation in, uh, in promoting of metal in Poland in the future. You know? It helped, helping but I don't think it's gonna help like for the next like five years or something. You know? But of course we're happy that uh, that the metal became like more popular in a country where there is so big problem to uh, to do a show or to do a tour. Maybe not for Behemoth of Vader because we are always like walking parallel to all this music business in Poland. That's why we we uh, we still like doing the shows and we have like big crowd. But all those like younger bands, like uh, uh, not so much popular bands, it's like big problem for them. There's not so much uh, venues, clubs in Poland who are uh, open for this kind of music, you know. And so I still try, I still, you know, uh, repeat and will repeat again, again, again in Poland if I have a chance to talk, you know, to the public, that the best help would be like to give a chance to metal and to, to to young bands to play and you know to you know to uh, to meet together somewhere you now because you cannot change the metal scene without shows without this like a real thing you know just talking doesn't change anything you know act will change everything so that's why it's way better to to give a chance to play than just to talk about it as a, like something extraordinary because this is how it is in Poland. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is different country and uh, we never ever had any support from like media or something like this. No, If somebody in, is interested in metal like Behemoth or Vader only because there is some story behind and never just because somebody try to see the music in this kind of, in this style, you know. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. And thanks, Piotr, for taking the time to talk to us. Very interesting interview. You know, thanks a lot. It's probably my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, that's so much nice things and we could talk about, like talking about metal, especially in Poland, because this is like a very special country. Yeah. Who, who is like in between the Hummer and the Anvil, you know, between the West and East uh, mentality and civilization, always. And you know, even if my personal opinion is like we we supposed to start thinking different because we joined the European Union and we start at least it's about the time to start thinking the other way. But having such a government, like we just tried to talk about, it's really hard for Polish people to understand it. So I think uh, the government now and Polish uh, citizens are so far away, which is good for Europe, because I think uh, the Europe, especially our neighbors like Germany or the Russia, Ukraine, they shouldn't see the Polish people uh, from what they see in TV, from from our government, president, and everything, because they they live in different world. They live in 30s. And they still start to fight for something. I don't know for what. Nobody knows in Poland actually. But uh, as being a people, being uh, like having a chance to work, you know, in England, the Polish people they saw something different what they, uh, to what they saw years ago in the, so the socialism, in the communism in Poland. So we just need more time to understand uh, and to unite with the rest of Europe, you know. <laughs> but you are generally optimistic about that? I am, I am. 
If I wouldn't, I probably would move to somebody else. But I still live in a country which is still part of Poland and uh, still dream about change in the future. <laughs> so and I really think that Poland will join, will be part of Europe, not just on the paper, but also mentality, with mentality. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we all, all right. hope that. Okay, that was Piotr of Veda on Whiskey Soda TV. See you next time. Bye.